Oh, so we start the episode with Sharon getting the shit scared out of her. What else is new? Sharon scary. I love figuring her own shadow part to scare the fuck out of Sharon. What else is new? Feel as if you don't knock the hell out of that drunken bastard and get and kick him the fuck out your damn room closet and move the fuck on and put a fucking period. I'm not finna sit here and watch this carnival game between you and Billy. I ain't got enough time in my goddamn schedule to see y'all two idiots sit up here fighting over no damn flash drive. Knock the hell out of him. Throw him out head first out your damn broom closet and move the fuck on. Why are we wasting this time on this damn scene? You making it more harder than it is looking at it. I hate to look at it, but you making it harder for me to look at it. Well, you obviously end up, give me the flash shrine. It's pressing the fly. Give me the flash shrine. Oh, now you're holding my hand. I miss it. I love it. Get would y'all shut up and feel us not the hell out of him with sudden to get that damn flash drive, would you? And let's end this charade, this little game. Are you serious, Phyllis? Are you really that dumb of an idiot? You let him convince you to walk your ass outside and he locked you out your own goddamn broom closet. How low must a bitch get before they feel very low? You must feel very low. You got locked out of your own damn broom closet office. I'm not playing this game with you and Billy. It's not going to happen. Sharon, you can try to convince him of this pad, and you can try to say whatever you want to till you blew in the fucking face. do not matter how hard you try to protect this secret and try to keep somebody else's child, it's going to come out soon or over. Just sit back, relax, and let it fall on your face. Let you fall on your face. Ain't nobody gonna protect you. Ain't nobody gonna be there. To, well, Mariah might be there to be your your defender or in or feel sorry for you. Nick not gonna feel sorry for you. Sage with the her dead, her bed, her deathbed hating your ass. How do you think them people gonna feel? Dylan gonna hate you. So let's just say you ain't gonna have too many friends when this secret do come out. Cardi is coming out sooner or later, boo boo. You not gonna have too many damn friends, and I don't feel sorry for you at all for keeping that secret this damn long neither. That's the man you love, fellas. The jackass that locked you out your own office. Not an even bigger jackass sitting up there letting you fight, trying to get in your damn damn office, trying to be fucking nosy. You loved him. You ruined your own marriage over that fucker. Enjoy, sweetie. Enjoy. You deserve whatever he do to you. Oh, look. Somebody got a guilty ass conscience. I wonder when that was going to come back to bite you in your ass, Chloe. Up the dreaming of Adam. A man that you so called hate. You sure dreaming about him minding hard home. That's that guilt coming at the bite you in your ass. Yeah, that's after the after what you then did guilt now, honey. Enjoy it. Well, y'all not in that that arm and then got knocked the fuck out by Patty. Whoa, oh, Sharon and Mariah look like y'all long, y'all long. <laughs> Let's see how y'all survive on that. <laughs> So Kevin knocked the fuck out of Nick. <laughs> Nick, you ain't gonna let that one down. You let Kevin ass knock the fuck out of you. <laughs> okay. I fucking can't. Nick, I thought you were better than Nick. <laughs> Damn, Kevin! Do you... <laughs> Kevin! You didn't know that was Nick, so you started swinging and ask questions later, huh? Dad, I fuck you all. Answer questions later, but swing first. I get you on that one. I probably would have done the same. But you didn't knock the hell out the wrong person, though, Kevin. That's bad. Shame on you. Phyllis, you dumb as hell. I would have knocked the dog fuck out of Billy. Probably would have scranged him and scratched the dog fuck out of his face. 
just for doing that little kitty ass game shit to your ass. All you do is go in there reaching for that damn flash drive. Fuck that damn flash drive. While he was in that corner, I would have been tearing his goddamn face up or any damn else that I can tell the fucking hitting him in for doing you like that. But no, you go run up on the damn flash drive. Fuck that flash drive. He just played with you like an idiot and you allow it. And you best to tell him it's okay to keep on fucking with you. You should have beaten his ass at least punched him in the face or something. Really? Really? That's some fuck shit right there. Are you kidding me? I don't even remember what the fuck happened. I'm damn god. Oh, yeah, about Claw with the nutty bitch. So all that you didn't did to Adam, you didn't torture the man, you didn't bash the sight, then watch the man die, you didn't blow up the man. Now all of a sudden you having dreams and nightmares about Adam. Mm -hmm. That's that karma karma to bite you in your ugly ass, Chloe. I hope you I hope you live with yourself knowing what you did to that man uh, because you want revenge against your damn daughter. Right, running him up with that car wasn't good enough for your ass. Shooting that man wasn't good enough for you. You had to take her to the ass scream this time around, huh? I really hope you pay for them crimes you committed. I just want to sit back and laugh at you and enjoy every last damn minute of Because you kind of need your ass kicked for doing that woman like that. Then you're around this woman, wife, and her and his son. Talking about best friend, best my ass. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode, and I'll see y'all soon for something.